This OLED display is one of the cheapest that you can find for Arduino and if you need help to get it to work, I'll go through a simple sketch that I made to make things easier. There are a few versions of this display with different colors, sizes and protocols, but they all work basically the same. I usually prefer the I2C version, but if you have the SPI version it will work with the same sketch, changing only a few lines. I will put links on the description for both sketches. Although if you use the I2C version it will be a good idea to put a 10k pull up resistor for both pins, to make sure it's stable. It's not obligatory, but I've noticed that sometimes when I touch the S C pins, the display will lock. The pull-up resistors prevent that. One thing that I notice is that it produces a slight high pitch noise. You need to be very close to the display to hear it, but still it's something that you need to consider. Anyway, so far the Adafruit library worked the best for me compared to other libraries, so you need to install the library for the display and the Adafruit GFX. For some reason the library is set by default for the smaller display that has a resolution of 128 by 32 so you need to open this file inside the library folder and comment this line and uncomment this one. If you don't do this, it will look like this. There are a few things that I find important when using displays and one of them is to be able to align numbers to the right. Not all the fonts support that, so here I listed the ones that do work. If you are using a custom font, you need to include it here. I created a variable to show on the display. For the I2C, you need to specify the address, which I've seen is this one. Here we set a bunch of parameters, and this one is if you want the text to go out of the screen when it reaches the limit or continue in the other line. In the loop, we increase the variable by 1, and when it goes over 150, it will start from 0. To align the numbers to the right, I convert the variable into a string, selecting the amount of digits and the amount of decimals. We clear the display, set a custom font and size to zero. This scales up the text, but that will make it look more pixelated, so it's recommended that you set the size to zero when using custom fonts. We set the location and print this text. After that, we draw a bunch of basic shapes. The format is explained in the comments. In here, we print the variable without modification, so it's going to align to the left. After that, we do the same, but this time we print the string that we created before to have the right alignment. The last thing to do is to put this line to actually print everything we set before. Now you can apply all this to your projects and create new things. Good luck and see you on the next video. Bye bye.